This is an overview of the toggle text button where you click on a button and it opens some more text. You can close the button again and it will close again. Let's get started. To get started, let's search for the widget, toggle text button, here it is. Let's drag it inside of Elementor, inside of the editor in one of the columns. And first of all, I want to explain what it does. So you have an option to add some short text, some long text, some button text for the button and button text closed. Now what each one of these does, when you click on the button, it just opens up the long text, it replaces the short text with the long text, and it replaces the button text with the button close text. So instead of read more, now it's showing show less. So that's the basics of what it does. And now let's jump into the style tab and go over all of the styling options. So first of all, we have an option to align the text and align the button. We separated this into two settings because sometimes you want your text aligned to the left and maybe the uh, button to be aligned to the right, just like over here right now. The next setting is for uh, adding some padding. So if you want to add some padding to this and space it out, you can add some padding. Let's go for 40 pixels. And we have an option to add a background color or a gradient. So let's go for a background color select our color and of course you have all the background options like image and stuff like that whatever you want to add so great we got this cool box going on over here and the next setting is to space between the text and the button so if you want to add some more space you can just play around with this slider and it will add some space next settings are in the button style section over here we can change the button background for example if i want something in a different color i can go for that and of course you have an option to add a hover color for the button so let's go for something with some contrast over here looks awesome button border radius you can round the corners you can decide not to round them at all and get something with some sharp edges let's go for totally rounded button padding this will affect how wide or how high the button is you can unlink this and play around. For example, I can add some more padding on the left and right, and you can see that makes the button a bit more wide. Over here, we have an option also to make the button instead of auto width to full width, and that will take the button full width. Now you can see this looks kind of weird because the text is still aligned to the right. So you're going to need to jump into general settings, and instead of button alignment right, you can change that into center, and that looks a bit better. We can also align the text to the center and now everything is centered. Let's jump back in and change the style to auto width and look how awesome that is. So really you can do anything you want. Over here in the style options, we have typography options for the short text, the long text, button and button close text. You can change any one of these. And the reason we split this differently, so for example, if you want the short text to be regular text, but you want the long text to have maybe some color and maybe to be a bit bigger, so we can add some color over here and let's see how that looks. So just when you open it, it looks a bit different. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.